all right guys welcome back now let's move on to our the next phase of the crud so we are gonna basically test our read endpoints like get posts and get post so it will follow the same same pattern a little bit of the same pattern except that we won't have a body so get posts let's just get all the posts in the first step now in our get posts we don't have to send anything no parameter no body nothing so our request object will basically be empty so we have our empty request object and then we are supposed to get posts not post and we are supposed to have an array of posts so as you can see the in the first step we created the dummy data for our dummy post data so we have one post object for sure and then from the create post phase we have another post object we didn't reach we didn't remove that post object we still have it so we have two posts in total so you should expect that the length of the posts array post dot dot length dot should equal equal you guessed it two so there should be two posts in your um, database right now so and of course you should look fine, fine let's just test this out first so let's see if wait let me just yeah should get an array of posts so let's test it out okay so we have an error over here have an error because of this little bad boy so it should be get posts because we're basically testing this endpoint so let's test it out right so it passes so we're done with get posts now let's move on to get post like just get a single post so get post should get an object, uh, a post object, post object by ID. So we have a request parameter specified. So param should be, remember the ID that we saved, the global ID that we saved over here when we created a dummy, dummy data, dummy post data. We're going to be utilizing that over here. So our param, we know that our params, not param, we know that our params are ID. And we're gonna pass in this ID. This ID is the one that it expects in your route. Like, remember this route? So this is the ID over here. And the other ID is basically this ID, this global variable ID. All right, so what do you expect? You expect that the post uh, should have, should be this post, right? Should be this dummy post that it created. So you expect this will be a singular post, just one post object. So you expect that, let's just delete this out. You expect that the post dot title dot should dot equal, let's just get creative with your post. It's kind of, I mean, with your assertions, it's kind of like, it should make sense, of course, that if these are the properties that are present and if this is equal to that, then that means you're getting the response properly. So what it should have is it should equal dummy because we are basically trying to find, we're trying to query this post, so dummy. And let's also create a similar one for the author. The author should equal someone, right? All right, and also let's not forget to change this should be just get post now let's test it out should work if it doesn't oh well all right so it works so we do get a post object properly now let's just try to, to get creative and see what happens in an error case like what would happen if you have an invalid post id if the post id that you've sent is not valid it's like jargon it doesn't exist so you expect that the you expect that you should get an error thrown to you so you should expect 500 internal server error so you do the same thing should get an 
an error should throw an error should throw an error for invalid post id so let's check it out oh uh this doesn't make sense it will send you an error object so here you're utilizing the rest.send part because whenever you get an error you're supposed to or you use the rest.send to send over your error if you recall from your index.js file you use rest.send the error and then you get the error object returned to you so you basically have an error object returned to you whenever you uh, give out an invalid post id now now that we're done with get posts let's move on to Actually, let's move on to the next two uh, endpoint function testing in the next tutorial. This video is long enough, I hope. <laughs> and in the next video, we'll be covering the update post and delete post and functions. So I, I think you kind of got the hang of how the testing works from all these three examples, but I'll still show it to you how, it, how the other two endpoints testing would look like. So stay tuned and good luck.